up guys my name is Mark Samaria welcome back to the channel welcome back to RC vlog guys today we are gonna do the first pass the first pass on the new Traxxas drag slash we got Evan over here mr. q-tip he said he wanted to be in the video he wasn't sure what he wanted to do but he is he actually has a radar gun today what are you gonna do radar gun right <laughs> he's the radar gun guy so we're gonna see the top speed we're doing this all out of the box we're not changing any gears I'm just seriously I took this thing out of the box last time you guys saw it. it was the last time I saw it and we're just gonna drive but we're still waiting for it to get here where, where is the guy with that's supposed to bring it over there he is why do I think this is like the coolest thing ever oh my god all right I gotta I gotta put the ramps down because we got to get the car off the uh, off the trailer right I mean how else are you supposed to get the car off the trailer without the ramps? All right, guys, so here she is in all her glory. My gosh, she looks so good. Again, I just pulled this out of the box. I did nothing. I did turn it on just now to back it off the trailer because, again, how am I supposed to get off the trailer? Obviously, I can't get off the trailer without backing it up. But, okay, we're going to do some test passes. And then after I do a couple of test passes, I'm gonna show you guys how fast it goes. So nothing crazy today unless I blow it up on these test passages, which I hope I don't. Um, but I am gonna check, I wanna check that whole blinky thing to see how that blinky thing works on the on the receiver. I think that's gonna be interesting. Here is the Bronco if you didn't see it. I do have a video coming out on the Bronco really soon, a review on it or first impressions of the Bronco. I've actually already shot it, I just haven't published it yet because that beast just came out and I wanna get as much content with this because that is, oh my God, just, I'm so excited to drive it. Um, that right there, that is the RC four-wheel drive trailer. I will put a link in the description. I had a few people ask about it on the reveal video for the, the drag slash. So, yes, I will put a link for that trailer. And that trailer is big enough to fit a slash on, which is nice. So, oh, man, look at that. Oh, oh, jeez. All right, here she is with the body off. So it's not in that blinky mode they were talking about. I guess that is a special mode that I, I don't know about yet. I guess that's something you have to put in. We're going to run it box stock, like I said. Um, if you didn't see the video where I revealed it and kind of just went over my initial impressions of the car I will put it in the eye above somewhere Here in the top, but here it is. We are going to be running a 3s 5,000 million battery. I wasn't sure if it's if that's legal or not I don't know if in drag racing you have to run a 2s battery But I'm running 3s because it can handle it and we're gonna see how hard it goes. So oh man it looks so good Okay First pass I'm ready to roll it out All right, so I did calibrate it out of the box only because I, I just like to do that to make sure I get full full throttle and full brake so calibrating is basically with the ESC I set the endpoints on the ESC to make sure I'm getting full throttle and full brake I did do that I'm not gonna show you how to do that I, I probably have a video somewhere out there if you want to look up how to calibrate your Traxxas ESC but I did make a new uh, an upgrade already can you tell what it is can you tell what oh 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 we got black body clips so it came with chrome ones I just think the black looks better but not a big upgrade but I do think it changed it up a little bit all right, so here we go. I am just going to uh, just kind of run it back and forth real quick. It's very smooth um, Just to kind of get a feel for it. It is extremely windy out here um, Oh, that was weird. So It does seem like it just goes straight just in general um, Let me zoom out just a smidge because I think I'm not actually that's fine. It does seem like It goes straight which is really really nice a lot of power, that 3S power that you would expect from that Traxxas VXL 3S system. Again, sorry for the wind. I'm probably going to pull a little bit from the wind. Oh, oh, did you see that? I lost a little bit there, but it regained it. I didn't hit the curve. Very stable on braking. Interesting. Okay, so I'm going to trim it just a smidge. Looks like I'm pulling just a little bit to the left. Trim it to the right a little bit. See if I can get it to go straight just in general. And... So it does, just going back and forth and just giving it throttle, it does seem like it pulls to the left, just, oh! That was nice. Maybe that's, maybe that's the wind. Very stable on brake, which I think they, they intended that. All right, let's see what it does if I just kind of give it some throttle right off the bat here. This is not using launch control. I'm just going, let me see if I can get a little bit closer there for you guys. 
Actually, let's pull it up over here. I don't want to be too close to the curb because I don't want to hit the curb if it pulls too much. All right. First pass. Oh, 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 oh. Went in reverse. Okay. First pass. Ready? See? Pull into the left, which is fine. We need to do some tuning adjustments, but that's just full throttle. That's not using the launch control. That's just, just giving it full throttle. God, it looks so good. Jeez. All right. All right. Let's see if we can get a full, uh, feel for it. We're going to do a launch here, and I'm just going to go, but I'm going to try to control it. It is, by the way, the wind is blowing that way, so that's probably why it's pulling. Yeah. Oh, it is pulling to the left. Let's see. It is the wind, because when I go the other way, it's pulling the other way. Okay. This kind of sucks. I don't know how good of a, how good we can do with these pulls. It is super windy out here, guys. All right, let's see. I'm just going to try to do a, a speed pass here. Oh, it went sideways on me. I think it's too windy to do a full pass, guys. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm scared to get on it all the way. All right, let's try the launch control feature. Trying the launch control feature here. All right. Pushing the button, pulling throttle. Oh, very cool. Okay. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm um, pushing this put pushing this button right here, pulling the throttle, and then when I let go. Oh man, that's cool. It is like a it's like a trans brake. Okay. So I have an idea. I think, okay, so there's not much wind right now. Let's see if we do a pass here. I am gonna use a trans brake here. We're, Pushing the trans brake, full full pin, let go of the trans brake, pull a little bit to the left. I think if we go with the wind, I think we'll be fine. So let's face the camera the other way. All right, guys, so we got the camera facing another way with the wind. There's the car. So first thing I will say is out of the box, just driving it, it's very smooth. It, it's kind of hard to explain, but it, it's almost like it, it, it rolls better. I don't know if it's just because there's less friction of the front tires, but there's more of the rear tires, but super smooth all right here we go we're gonna go with the wind on this one we'll see if i can back up just a smidge get in the shot there trans brake on full pin letting go trans brake oh man that one's straight down guys so it is the wind that made me go because the wind is strong it was the wind that was making me go uh to the left a little bit but i have never ever made a drag racing pass in my life and we're making them right now Watch this. Trans brake, full pin, let go of trans brake. Oh, oh my, like it drips a little bit, but it's not like it loses control. Oh, that is so cool. Wow. I'm impressed, guys. I'm impressed. All right, so Evan is driving it now, and as soon as he picked it up, he did say, wow, that is smooth. So I don't know what it is. It's just, it's like smoother. I will say as he comes in and turns, come in and close Evan and, and do a, a, a strong turn. I don't know if you guys can, oh, you guys can't hear that because the mic's facing the other way. I think maybe the front tires are rubbing a little bit, um, but it still turns just fine. But this is a, this is a drag car. It's not supposed to turn, but yeah, it's super smooth, like super free rolling. Yeah, it's, it's weird. It's hard to explain. All right, here we go. We're going to do a, a little bit closer so you guys can see. Let's see if I can stage this up. Um, there we go nice okay another hit I'm gonna try to drive it straight down so I will kind of throttle it a little, little bit trans brake full pin let off trans brake straight as a freaking arrow I mean I can probably tune it a little bit but guys that's pretty solid like I'm confident to go drag racing with this thing and I don't know anything about drag racing Oh God, looks so good too. All right, here we go again. I'm gonna turn the mic around so you guys can hear it take off.
All right, I'm letting Q-Tip drive it. He has never driven a drag car. I'm gonna explain, so go ahead. If you wanna go back and forth a couple times, just kinda get a feel for it, Evan. Man, it, it, it is cool. Like, I kinda wanna take it to a drag race and just run it. So, the initial, the initial video where I showed this thing off, right, where I unboxed it, there were a couple of comments that were about how it might be illegal to use any type of gyro or anything like that. I think this is, this is supposed to be a spec class, not a, a drag race class or like the open class i'm assuming i don't know again i don't know anything about drag race and we'll get more info on that on my first drag race but man this thing is fun i'm excited to use it evan come on back here bud in that i'll show you how to do a launch real quick all right so i explained to evan or q-tip about the trans brake and he's going to do it now so let go of the red button whenever you want to bud Ready? yep Straight as an arrow, you're going right towards the gutter, so make sure you break early enough, buddy. Wow, that is so cool, guys. I can't wait to go drag racing. And it just looks so freaking good. You wanna do it again, bud? Trans break it. Push the button, pull the, pull the throttle down, keep the throttle down, and then let go of the button. Oh, he got a little squirrely there. Oh man, I bet you, I bet you the reason why it's so easy to drive right now is because I bet you TSM is just on in general. I'll look up how to put it in that, in that spec, spec race mode, but in general, man, passes with this thing is so fun. All right guys, back at home. My God, it's hot out there. Super hot. Oh, it's so nice to be in AC. Anyways, a couple of things I got to talk about, about those, uh, those runs, those pulls. I was, I did have TSM on. So I was actually at 50% TSM on the remote. So the multifunction knob is defaulted for TSM, the TSM sensitivity. So I had about 50% TSM. In order to turn that the receiver into that blinky mode where it, there's no TSM on acceleration and then full on TSM on on braking and deceleration, you got to push the button on the receiver. I think it's push it for two seconds or something and then it, it activates it. So I did run on full TSM, but it was super fun. It was, it was a crazy <laughs> Crazy amount of fun. And if you're wanting a drag race and you get a couple of those, just, I mean, it still can lose control at, with TSM and it's all about reaction time. So it is pretty freaking cool. Another thing is, I don't know anything about burning out. I didn't do any burnouts there. I probably could have done a burnout, but I don't want to do a burnout wrong and just completely roast my tires. So I promise I will figure all those things out whenever I go to my first drag racing event, but I don't know what they are. I don't, I don't know what those things are yet. So. I hope you liked this video, guys. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see me next time. Later, guys.